how to do data visualization using matplotlib. So matplotlib is the Python library which is used for data visualization. So you can create very efficient graph in simpler lines and later on you can produce graphs in different formats. So it is uh, based on the inspiration from MATLAB programming language and as it provides a similar mat MATLAB like uh, interface for graphics. So based on the name of um, MATLAB, the library has been uh, no, developed matplotlib. These are the benefits of matplotlib. So easily get started. So you can start uh, uh, creating graphs in simpler terms, in simpler way. And it also supports uh, latex formatted labels and text. So on figures, uh, you can do uh, you no know, labeling by using latex. And you can also you know, format your text. So we are going to see that. And um, it, you can have a great control on each element in a figure. Uh, you can specify the figure size and you can also specify a DPI, which stands for dots per inches. And um, you can produce uh, you know, high quality output in different forms like PNG, PDF, SVG, EPS. And you can have a great control on your graph uh, by specifying the label, by specifying the figure size. And um, you can also sp specify access labels. So we are going to see that. And uh, no need to install the matplotlib library because it's already coming with uh, it already coming with Anaconda. So if it, if you would like to install, then the syntax is conda install matplotlib, or else you can also in do the uh, installation by using pip. So pip install matplotlib. So at first you need to import library. So import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. So plt is alias, just like importing pandas as pd. And we need to import different kinds of symbols. So that's why we need to write this line from pylab import stars. So all the symbols are included. And what is the anatomy of uh, plat? So when you say plat, it is uh, you know, having two components. One is figure, other one is axis. So if you look at this figure, so you can, you can understand what is the meaning of figure and axis. So the major part is considered as figure and each figure is having the x-axis and y-axis labels. So this one, this one, these are the x-axis label and this one is the x-axis, uh, y-axis label. You can display and you can also specify access values. And um, here you can plot your graphs. And how to do the plotting? So there are two approaches. The first approach is you, you can use a functional approach. So functional approach means we are going to use the function that is plot to do the plotting. So here I'm taking a sample data. So x is equals to lin space of 0 comma 5. So we are going to have the set of values in the range of 0 to 5. And this lin space is the function which is defined uh, within the numpy. So that is why we are importing numpy. Import numpy as npy, then x is equals to lin space of 0 to 5. And then y values are going to be x star star 2, which means x square, x to the power 2. And then when you have x axis and y axis values, you can go for plotting. So plt dot plot of x. So this is going to give you the, l sorry, I need to first uh, import uh, the library. I didn't run that. So importing these two lines done and then so running this code snippet so now you can see you have got the graph this is the line graph so there is a line the x-axis values are 0 1 2 3 4 up to 5 and y-axis values are x square so 0 square is 0 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 so like this the line is plotted so this is a line graph. It's very simple now within a uh, uh, couple of lines you are going to have a graph but uh, when you do the same thing in other programming languages like C or C++ or in Java so it is going to take uh, hundreds of lines so that's why Python is a very simple and user-friendly language and um, the code is very simple 
And if you want to know what is the use of this function lin space, you can uh, take a help lin space and then question mark. So this displays you the help. So this is the document string returns evenly spaced numbers over a specified interval. So we have specified the interval 0 to 0 to 5 and we have got the numbers 0 to 5 on x-axis. And as you know, every figure has a title and x-axis label and y-axis label. So in order to add these three, you need to, you need to add uh, no, these three lines to the plot function. So plt dot plotting the values of x and y and my title is going to be this first plot and x-axis label is x label. So based on the pr problem statement or requirement, you can specify the labels. So my x-axis label is x label and y-axis label is y label. So then you can see the graph. So with this title, so this is the main title, first plot and x-axis label is x label here and y-axis label is y label and this is the same graph. Then uh, we could also have uh, multiple graphs, subplots. So in a row you can have multiple figures. Similarly in a column you can also have multiple columns. So multiple uh, graphs can be possible by using the predefined method subplot and it is taking importantly three variables. n rows means the number of rows and n calls means number of columns and plot number at a time particular figure is active so you need to specify this figure is active so let's use that so you can see subplot so one row okay one row and number of columns are two means here within a single row you can plot two graphs and the for the first time the first figure is active and what are we plotting so we are plotting the values of x and y and this, <coughs> this is for formatting. Your uh, the um, the color used to draw a line is R. R means red. RGB format: red, green, blue. So R for red, and the point is hyphen here, and all the hyphens are connected by another hyphen. So that is the first plot. And then again, we are using the same function subplot: one row, two columns. So for the second time, second finger is active, and we are plotting. Y, y first means on x axis we are plotting the value of y on y axis we are plotting the values of x and the color used is green and the point is uh, here a hyphen all the hyphens are connected by hyphens so you can see we have two graphs in a single row so this is the first graph right this is the first graph and this is the second graph a red color line is used here green color and you can see 0 to 5 here the labels are these numbers comes automatically and for the same also again the index started from 0 and we got these values so in the single row you have two graphs so this is subplot and uh, I'm just using the no subplot another time so one row three columns one row three columns means single row three in three columns you are plotting three graphs so the first time first time red color point is hyphen and hyphens are connected by hyphen in the second graph color is green and the point is star here and all the stars are connected by hyphen in the third figure uh, color is blue and then point is hyphen all hyphens are connected by hyphens so it is going to give us three figures within the same within a single graph within the single row we are having three columns okay you can have you can have three columns so these are the three columns then you can also have a subplot two rows so this time we are splitting column sorry we are splitting rows two rows one column first time first figure is active plotting the values of x comma y okay plotting the values of x comma y and then red color hyphen hyphens connected with hyphen then one more plot two rows single column second time second figure is active the color used is green the point is star and then hyphen so we can have uh, two rows but the column is single single column is uh, no, uh, shared by two figures 
So you can see here two rows, single column. So this is also subplot. And then I have just mul uh, multiplied all the f subplot functions here. Two rows, two columns. Okay, two rows, two columns. This is going to give us four figures. This is figure one, figure two, figure three, figure four. So two by two. Just like two by two matrix, here you, are, here you have two by two rows, two rows, two columns. So that is the first approach. The second approach is you can do the plotting by using object oriented up, uh, interface. It means so there is a predefined class figure and you create an object of that to plot a, a graph. you can see here figure equals to creating object to the figure so plt dot figure and in the second approach you need to specify the uh, margins so what is the left margin bottom margin this one point 0.1 left margin next value is point 0.1 bottom margin next is width next is height and all these values should be in the range of 0 to 1 so we have mentioned the axis and then we are plotting x, y values and then setting the labels x axis, y axis, title. So this also gives a single graph and the color used is red for the line and the points are hyphen. Hyphens are connected by another hyphen. So this is the graph. And uh, you can do, how do you do multiple uh, plots? So means you need to have multiple axes. So based on the axis values, the figures are plotted. In axis 1, we are specifying the margins. In this is axis 2. So this is the first figure. We are plotting x, y values. Color is red. And this is second figure. So based on the axis uh, margins, the second figure is inserted within the first one. So you can say this is the figure. So the main figure and uh, the second figure is within the first figure because we reduce the we increase the margins here, 0 0.2. Point means 20%. From bottom, 50%. It is 0 0.5, means off of 50%. And width uh, and height also specified here, 0 0.4, 0 0.3. So based on your values, the figures are plotted. And then how to do the subplots using the second approach, object-oriented approach. So creating object to the figure and subplot so fig comma access is equals to plt dot subplot and this subplot function can also take the parameters like uh, number of rows one number of columns two and uh, <coughs> I would like to plot the same graph two times so that's why we're using the loop here so for access in accesses plotting x y values and the labels are also mentioned so this gives us the same graph two times but here there is one problem you see the label of second figure is uh, no just uh, plotted on the first one I means there should be a proper gap over here so in order to avoid this in order to avoid this we have to add a single line that is uh, fig dot tight layout so we have to add this line fig dot tight layout so this gives us the proper gap between the two figures no there is no overlapping so there is a proper gap and uh, if we were to have multi separate figures so here same figure is two times but um, I want to have separate uh, no values for x axis y axis and having a single row but columns two number of rows one number of columns two and in the axis zero the first uh, first figure we are plotting x y red color in this axis one means the second figure we are adding y x green color is used and also added the line uh, statement fig dot tight layout so you are having two graphs and there is a proper gap there is no overlapping then how to do the formatting this can be done by using the figure uh, no within the subplot so within the subplot we are specifying the figure size here 4 comma 2 means 400 pixels width and 200 pixels height and plotting x y values the color is green and we have mentioned the labels so this is the figure 
width 400 and um, height is 200 so based on the values over here you can expect the size of the figure so once the figures are plotted you can save the figures in different formats so here we're using the predefined method save fig and this is the file name file name dot png means uh, the recent graph is uh, saved into the format png and the name of the file is file name one so you can give anything then the figure is going to be saved in the same directory where my Jupyter notebook exists and while spe while spe saving the figure you can also specify dpi okay dots per in inches so this defines the quality of the figure the figure is saved like this you can save in SVG format you can save is in JPG format so as you wish so depends on the requirement you can save figure in different file formats and we can also have legends legend means description of the particular graph so as you see we have added lines but what does that line represents so what does the line says so that can be defined by label and you can show that label on the graph so specifying the figure size here and DPI have also also specified 80 percent and these are the margins 0 0 1 1 and we are plotting two lines here x then x square and the y label for that is y is equals to x star star 2 means x to the power 2 and then second figure is x x star star 3 means x cube and we are writing the label so if you don't write label then you can't display them so label must be written to describe your figure and this is x axis label y axis label and this is the title and axis dot legend so this 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 is going to add legend and uh, LOC means location is equals to zero so location equals to zero means upper left corner so this is the legend so what is thus what is this blue line so blue line the equation for that is y is equals to x square and orange line uh, which is y is equals to x cube okay this is x cube and you are having a single graph and uh, this is legend and this legend can be displayed at uh, different locations different positions so these are the positions location 0 means we let the matplot library to decide the optimal location optimal location means uh, based on the free space it is going to uh, add a legend so for example uh, if you add the same les legend over here so this will overlap the figure so that's why the best option is you can write location equals to zero or else this last line access dot legend location is equals to best so this is going to uh, add the location at the best place best place means based on the free space either you can use line number one or either you can use this one or else if you specifically want to have the legend at uh, the upper right corner then you need to specify the value one location equals to two for upper left corner three for lower left corner four for lo lower right corners so you need to remember so the best way is just giving the location equals to best or location is equals to zero so this is about the uh, legends then we can also use uh, latex formatting understand we can also use latex formatting in specifying the font size specifying the font family or you can do formatting of label by using the latex so in latex what happens is uh, sometimes you want to display the equations so in that case uh, you can write uh, you can use uh, latex and as per latex whatever you write within the dollar so that is considered as single line um, single line equation okay that is considered as single line equation so y is equals to a x this is cap 2 means a x a x to the power 2 b x plus c <coughs> so this is going to give us the equation y is equals to a x square plus b x plus c and uh, we have done the plotting and if you observe over here so y is equals to x star star 2 so if you are the python programmer so you can know what is the meaning of star star but how about the other people they don't know the meaning of star star 
and as you know the star star is only supported in python and this particular operator is not available in any other programming languages so that's why uh, in order to make your graph user friendly so you need to convert that into equation so we are just modifying the previous graph and look at the label so label is equals to within the dollar so we are writing y is equals to this is as per our latex x cap 2 means x to the power 2 similarly also formatting this label for the second figure y is equals to x cap 3 and also we are specifying the font size for x axis label which is equals to 14 similarly same font size 14 for the y axis label and you see the title is also put into the uh, dollar symbol means you are formatting that based on the latex and we have added location equals to 0 you can see this figure is you no know, uh, in, in simple anyone can understand the label y is equals to x square and y is equals to x uh, 3 x to the power 3 instead of having x star star 3 we are specifying y is equals to x cube so this is latex formatting and um, we can also uh, you know, increase or decrease the font size you can specify the font family also so in order to do that uh, matplotlib dot rc params dot update so we are sp specifying the font size as 16 and font family is sheriff so from now on if you plot any graphs so these two pro these two settings are applied right these operations are applied that means your figure is going to have the font size 16 and font families sheriff now I just uh, copied the above cell and then again plotting the graph to see the effect you see uh, the font size is increased understand the font size is increased and the font family also increased so this is the change of font size and font family uh, you can make it default so default font size is 12 and default font formula is sans now from now onwards the figures are having this to applied and for RC parameters you can take help on that and how to set the colors line width and line styles so we have already used this format that means B means blue point is hyphen hyphens connected with hyphen so we have already used this is matlot uh, this is matlab style right this is matlab style you can see the stars or points and these points are connected with hyphens so we are having two plots here x x square y x cube and um, based on x axis y axis values the figures the lines are drawn and um, you can also specify the colors you know uh, fully like color equals to red alpha equals to 0.5 means 50 percent transparent and uh, so yeah, here you are having a red color which is 50 percent transparent or else uh, each color has hexadecimal value so that can also be specified over here so color equals to this is some color and next uh, color equals to purple means full name you are giving so you are having three lines here so using the plot function three times for the first part for the first figure x comma x plus one and this is half transparent red color line next uh, this is bluish color right and next is purple color is this so three lines are plotted and based on the values you are having the lines here so so far we have learned the uh, fundamentals of uh, matplotlib means how to plot a graph how to specify the figure size and um, how to specify the font family font size and um, how to create multiple plots right and how to format the labels how to add legends next uh, once you have learned the f uh, basics of um, you know plotting a graph so you can plot different kinds of graph so here the first type of graph is histogram as you know histogram is used to show the distribution of numerical values so how the values are distributed so here no need to in import the libraries multiple times we have already done this and uh, I'm creating pandas data frame here 
So if you don't know about the pandas, you can uh, go through our no, no s tutorial series on pandas. You can search out in our channel so that you can have uh, knowledge on creating data frames by using pandas. So data frame one is equals to pd dot data frame of marks. The first column is going to be marks, and uh, here we are creating some sample values by using numpy. Numpy dot random dot randint random integers. How many integers totally? How many values? 50 values, and in the range of 20 to 100. So low value is 20, and high value is 100. So in the range of 20 to 100, so you are having totally 50 values, single column. And on this data frame, df1 dot plot. You're specifying the number of bins, means vertical bars, and the property is kind equals to hist, means histogram, specifying the row width 0.5, and also adding a title, marks distribution, and here we don't want to show the legend, so legend equals to false, and x axis label is going to be bins, and then plt dot show, so this shows the histogram. So you can see uh, this figure, this is histogram on x-axis label. You have the uh, marks values in the range of 0 to 30. So how many students are having the marks? 0 to 30, so which is more than 12. So the y-axis value representing the frequency means the count. How many students are having uh, the values? You see between 50 to 60 four people are having. So this kind of graph is called as histograms. So how many bins are there? Six bins. We have specified the bins is equal to six. So this is histogram. Next, um, this is another example, creating a histogram. By using the PLT uh, also, you can create a histogram. PLT dot hist. Uh, generating random numbers here. So rand n is going to create a float value. So random numbers totally 1000 in the range of 0 to 9999 9, 9, 9. so this is the these are the values and then based on the random numbers generated and you are having a histogram all the values are in the range of minus 4 to this so this is the uh, totally 1000 numbers are there right and how they are distributed is shown by using the histogram then this is another example of uh, I'm creating a A's. So what is A's here? It's a list data structure. So a list is created by using square brackets and I'm just you now specifying sample values here. Uh, blindly with your naked eyes you can see uh, 12 is totally 3 times. So that means the frequency of 12 is going to be 3. Right? So and then creating a histogram. PLT dot hist. The data source is A's and you are also mentioning the range all the values are considered in the range of 0 to 80 only so based on the frequency of the values you can have a histogram between 60 to 70 the frequency is 1 so between 30 so between 0 to this one 15 we can say the frequency is 3 means uh, 12 value falls in this range So the second type of graph is line graph. So we have already seen how to plot a line. So here I'm just taking a sample of data here, creating a data frame to PD dot data frame. And uh, the first column is year. So we are specifying set of values for year. And the sales is second column, specifying some sample values. The number of uh, no values in year and sales should be equal. Otherwise, you are getting an error. So data frame is created. And then on the data frame, you are having a plot. Plot x axis is year values and y axis is sales values. And the kind of graph is line graph. So you can see based on the values, the you have a line graph here. The number of sales increased in 2018-19. So 18-19, so 10,000 here and 15,000 here. And then dropped. Uh, no, in 2020, 4,800. So based on the sales values, we are having a line here. So this graph is line chart. And uh, matplotlib uh, allows us to have the different kinds of styles. So if you just want to display them, 
you have to write like this plt dot style dot available so what are the available styles so in my current version of python uh, you have these uh, styles so you can use any of these styles by specifying the name for example i want to use this 538 so this is one of the mm, uh, this is one of the style so where is it so that is here so 538 you can use any any of these name so how to use the style so this is a syntax plt dot style dot use specifying the uh, theme so from now onwards if you plot any graph then this theme is applied okay next um, I'm creating another another type of graph that is bar graphs so bar graphs are used for comparison so when you have some character values on x-axis on y-axis you can specify the frequency so I'm taking sample data here x is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 and y equals to 5 7 3 8 4 the number of values must be same and then plt dot bar bar is the predefined method it is taking two parameters x and y and you can see by using the specified theme um, you have got a bar chart so the frequency for 4 the frequency for 4 is how much you mentioned we have mentioned 8 so y axis 8 based on the values the bar chart is created here and as we don't have the titles x axis label y axis label we can add them also and also this is default color blue is the default color so you can spe change, spe change the color here so color equals to red same values are used and based on the x axis y axis value or and uh, your parameters you have the graph here understand you have the graph so you can see the I have decreased the size uh, of the mat this uh, Jupyter notebook and you can see the graph so this is simple bar chart I have given the title as simple bar graph and x axis you have the students this is the title and then math score mathematical score on by axis and um, so there are uh, six bars sorry there are five graphs five uh, five bars and for each bar we can use different colors so I'm creating a Python list here color equals to this is a list so CYL means uh, color so color equals to five colors are specified and then we use these colors in uh, plotting a graph so plt dot bar of x comma y and color equals to col so these colors are applied then you can see the graph with the specified colors so five bars five different colors okay five bars five different colors you can s specify your favorite colors and so this is uh, by default vertical bar chart understand there are two types of bar charts so horizontal and vertical means the bars are vertical type and then if you want to have a horizontal then we have a method bar h means horizontal bar chart we are plotting x-axis y-axis values we have mentioned title x-axis label y-axis label based on that this is the horizontal bar chart so we have no, not mentioned the color so default color is used so these are the horizontal bars five bars on x-axis what you're showing you are showing math score and y-axis student so this is horizontal bar chart on this also you can have colors you can have the selected colors applied so horizontal bar chart with colors and next I'm changing the theme so style dot use classic so classic theme is used from now onwards so and then plotting the same graph horizontal bar chart and then see the style you see this th this theme is different right you see the theme is different this one and look at the classic theme the classic classic theme is different the same figure we are drawing but uh, the way of uh, representation is different so like this you can choose any theme and then I'm creating a data frame here so PD dot data frame and the values are in the range of uh, totally we are going to have um, four columns five rows 
okay four columns five rows the values are created randomly by using the rand method rand method and column names we are mentioning that as a b c d then printing the data frame as well and plotting um, a bar chart on the data frame so four columns five rows are there zero to five and uh, by default this function gives us ra float values so based on the float values you have um, five four um, f four columns right in each uh, row you are having four columns and their values are plotted and we have totally five rows this is one two three four five so five rows and each row has four columns so this is used when you are doing some comparison this kind of uh, non uh, logic is used when you are doing some comparison and showing their values you can take a uh, help on rand method and then on the same graph df3 and same data frame on df3 so plotting a bar chart but this time stacker is equals to true also specifying the figure size 9 comma 5 so this is stacked bar chart means so uh, you know you can have one value on top of the another one so you can say this is stacked bar chart and next i would like to have stacked uh, okay df3 dot plot kind equals to bar heads horizontal bar chart and also stacked horizontal as well as stacked so this gives a figure so df3 dot plot kind is bar has horizontal bar chart and which is stacked true so this is the graph and then another type of graph is box plot so df3 dot we can just apply the function box plot on the data frame so based on the values we can have a box plot so this is the box plot and uh, means each uh, row right each column is represented like this in box plot you can have uh, importantly uh, the things like uh, what is the zero percentile value right 25 percentile and uh, 50 percentile and then you can have 75 percentile and then 100 means maximum for example look at this so this one is 0 percentile this one is 25 percentile this one is m median so 50 percentile this is going to be 75 percentile and this is maximum so this is maximum so when you go for box plot it is going to show these values means fr from a single column what is what is the 25 percentile value this one 50 percentile 75 percentile and then maximum means 100 percent this is 100 percent this is now mm, zero percentage so this kind of graph is called as box plot next uh, density plot so next is density plot so we are creating a sample data here series is equals to pd dot series of and using the random method so generating 100 values thousand values and then on the date on Ponda series we are applying the graph kind equals to KDEV which stands for kernel density estimation so density plots are to show the density of the values so majority of majority of the values are in this range and y-axis you can see the density for example let's say in particular city some people are more crowded uh, in some region that means that uh, that region is having more density so for such kind of analysis you can go for density plot and then uh, pie charts the another type of graph is pie charts which also used for uh, distribution of the values so here I'm creating a data frame so share equals to so this is Python list specifying the share value of the companies and this is also the Python list specifying the company's name so Google, Facebook, Apple, Microsoft, IBM and then creating a data frame and this is Pandas um, sorry this is a um, dictionary key value page share then share values companies companies values and then displaying a, a data frame so you can see there are five rows 0 to 4 and uh, two columns share companies on this we are having a pie chart so company dot plot y-axis 
you are showing share values kind is pie kind of graph is pie chart the labels are from companies and percentage the percentage formatting is 4.1 f float values one decimal digit legend we don't want to display and the title of the figure is market share and y x axis y axis label mt so this is a pie chart this is a pie chart showing the distribution of value so the share of google is more 40% next is facebook 24% next is apple 22.0 right so the this is a circle like right showing the distribution of or the values so this kind of graph is called as pie chart then taking another example here so creating a python list labels like frogs hogs dogs logs then size values then for each uh, no uh, for each um, value we want to show that using different colors and these are the default colors so based on your theme the colors are selected but here we are specifying our own colors and then but this time using pi method of plot but here we have used a uh, pi uh, we have used the plot method and then specified the parameter kind equals to pi so make a note of this but here what we are doing is on the plt.py specifying the drawing plotting the size values explode true explode true means um, explode is equals to explode so you are creating a python list explode equals to you have the list of values here so you can have the gap between the cells so between the first cell and second cell the gap is 0.05 and make a note of this uh, so these values are in the range of 0 to 1 and these values should be very small otherwise it doesn't look like uh, no pie chart and between third and fourth we are having a gap 0 0.05 and then within the pi, fig uh, pi method specifying the sizes explode equals to the explode labels equals to labels we have created and then colors equals to the colors we are mentioned and the percentage formatting is 2.2f shadow equals to true means we are showing the shadow of the on pie chart and then axis equal means all the axis are having the equal distribution so we have mentioned the colors and those colors are applied and between the second and third cell you can have a more gap so this is due to the explode value we have mentioned and shadow is also there so this is looking very attractive right so this is how the pie charts are created then one more type of graph is scatter plot so scatter plot shows uh, also the distribution of values you can now show the values in the font of uh, in the form of points so here i'm creating a subplot and creating values x axis y axis so x values are going to be uh, created in the range of 0 to 1 totally 50 points and y is equals to np dot random dot random numbers generated totally 50 so based on the x and y values you are having a scatter plot so this is a scatter plot how the values are scattered within the two dimensional space so that's it from today's session so we have discussed uh, the basics of matplotlib and what are the features of it and um, how to plot a graph and you know, different co components like um, specifying the x-axis label y-axis label title specifying the figure size and uh, there are two ways to do the uh, plotting so first is functional approach means that is using a plot and the second approach is um, object oriented means you can create an object to the figure class and you can do the uh, plotting the most of the time we will we'll prefer the first approach because that is simple and the drawback of second approach is uh, we uh, may not be knowing the margins x-axis y-axis width and height values so that is the drawback and um, at last we have discussed the different kinds of graphs on top of this you have one more library that is seaborn so i will have a separate session on seaborn so stay tuned so that you can get uh, updates on different uh, data science concepts so thanks for watching do subscribe